Hey babe, today we are talking all about how to be more productive at school so that you can get more done, so that you can be more focused, and that you can so that you can have more you time when it comes to your after school activities and just hanging out and chilling. Because let's be honest, we go to school to get it done. So let me teach you how to be more productive at school. Babe, when it comes to being more productive at school, there's lots of different things that I could teach you. And I've got some videos on like how to get most of your homework done at school. And I understand that for different people, school has different purposes. Um, sometimes it's just purely social, right? And we just do the schoolwork to get by. Sometimes we're really academically driven. This video is a little bit more for those people who are, um, well, actually I'd say both. So if you're academically driven, this is gonna help you to achieve more so that you have less homework at home. And if you're more socially driven, this is gonna help you so that you can get all the school, the hard side of it done so that you can have more time to be social and just kind of enjoy yourself at school. So diving right in, the first thing that you've gotta to do to be more productive at school is you have got to set your attitude. So when we go to school, we've gotta have this attitude of, I'm gonna be really productive today. I'm going to follow Abby's tips. I'm going to be here, I'm gonna show up and I'm gonna do my best. Because if we have an attitude that is anything less than that, anything of like, oh man, I hate school, here we go. Or, oh, this is gonna be hard. Um, I hate being here. That's gonna drag you down and constantly all day, your brain is gonna tell you all the reasons you hate school, all the reasons that this is stupid, all the reasons that you shouldn't be doing your homework, right? Whether those are true or not, doesn't help you, doesn't serve you. So we're gonna set our attitude to a level that is going to help us be more productive. Because whether I hate school or not, I still have an English assignment due next week. Whether I really like don't like being at school and I don't like the social part of it, like that doesn't help me do better uh, like with getting my grades, right? So let's set an attitude of, this is gonna be awesome, I'm gonna be super productive, and I am going to make school work for me because it really will start to bleed into all areas of your life, especially your academics. And so let's start to set that attitude so you can be more productive. Our second tip is to have all of the right tools. I cannot tell you how hard it is to get your homework done, to be present in class and to like feel like you're being productive when you don't have the right tools, right? I think we've all been there when in math class we've forgotten our calculator that day. And guess what? While the rest of the class could work on their assignment, you couldn't, right? Or you had to borrow somebody's and how long does that take to go back and forth? And like, just you've got to have the right tools. Let's make sure we've got pen and paper, our notebooks, our homework. Let's make sure we've got our binders with our classes, right? Let's make sure that we have the tools to succeed at school because a lot of times we do this a little subconsciously, but we don't set ourselves up with the right tools to succeed at school because then we can use it as an excuse. I'm like, well, yeah, I didn't get my math homework done on time. I didn't have my calculator with me or I didn't have my math book with me. Okay, we're gonna leave those excuses behind because if we really wanna be productive, if we really wanna get school done and be successful at it, we've gotta have the right tools. When it comes to my school videos, especially my homework ones, you're gonna hear this tip over and over again, and that is to be present. I want you to actually be present in class. So that means you're paying attention. That means you're asking questions when you don't understand. That means that you're taking in all the people around you and, and talking to them, right? And not talking to your friends on your phone or your boyfriend or texting and that you're actually in class, you're participating and you're learning. Sometimes it's really tempting to still be thinking about math class when you're in English or still be thinking about what that cute girl said to you, you know, when you're in gym class. But I just want you to be present because being present is going to help you to achieve more in class. It's gonna help you to understand those principles that your teachers are teaching you. Um, it's gonna help you get those concepts, right? How often have we gone home and we're trying to do an assignment and we're like, I totally like, I don't remember how to do this. I wasn't paying attention. 
that costs you in the long run, whether it costs you your grade or it costs you the time to figure it out on your own, go back through the book. And I just want to save you that time and be extremely productive while you're in class. And that starts with being present and being there in your class to pay attention. This last tip will help you with that. And that is to have designated phone times. So I get that it is crazy tempting to constantly be checking your phone to, you know, especially be texting somebody um, and just feel like you're still part of that group. And I know there's that real feeling of like, oh, I haven't checked my phone in a while. And what if somebody needs me? What if there's a group text? I'm here to tell you that, okay, you're in school. Nobody needs you. If it's an emergency, your mom's going to call you. Um, and you shouldn't be on your phone constantly during the school day. Have designated times that you can be on your phone. So I would suggest for you that that would be never in class. It could maybe be in between a couple like classes as you're walking to one or before one officially starts. Um, and then definitely during lunch, you can use your phone. But between then, I would really challenge you to put your phone away. And this is a little bonus tip for you. For those of you that are like, Abby, please no, I always text my boyfriend all day or whatever. It is actually very appealing and very um, a really healthy relationship skill to not be like constantly ping ponging all day with your texts. And it leaves that other person wanting more of you. So if you're somebody that has just been ping ponging your friends over and over and you text all day long, I mean, you can let them know, just be like, hey, I'm gonna try to be a little bit more focused in class. So I'm gonna text you at lunch and after school. Fine, that's awesome. You know, more communication, the better. But it actually leaves them wanting more. It makes your text a little bit special when they get to like come from you. And it also just kind of puts everybody at ease when you're like, hey, you know what? They know that I'll always text them back at lunch or I'm always gonna check my phone then. So then, yeah, we can get together and we'll all go on, on the car ride to go get hamburgers for lunch, right? You're not gonna miss out. Okay, babe, those are my tips for you on how to be more productive in class. I would challenge you as well to check out my video on how to get more of your homework done while you're at school. There's gonna be some crossover in those videos because when we're more productive at school, we can get more of our homework done. And I just wanna challenge you to try these tips for a week. See the difference that it makes because I was so much happier as a teenager when I was productive at school. And when I was at school, I was at school. And when I was with my friends, I was with my friends. And then when I was at home, I was at home, right? Because our brain, it likes to think it can multitask, but it really can't, right? We just jump between tasks within nanoseconds, but it takes so much brain energy. So I want to challenge you, be at school when you're at school, use these tips. So then when you're doing things with your friends, you're not worried about homework and you're getting more done and your grades are going to start to reflect it. So wishing you the best of luck in following these tips and being more productive at school. If you have a comment for me, leave it below. If you liked this video, please let me know. Smash that like button. I can't believe I just said smash that like button. Hit that like button. Please subscribe if you're a teenager looking to master high school and beyond. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. So, Abby Day out.